Hey there, this is Tokomotion with a quick introduction in working with my new stylized animals pack for Reillusions Character Creator. Well, if you purchase the pack from Reillusions Marketplace or Content Store you will and install it in your sy on your system, then you will find the corresponding CC projects uh, in your Actors Project tab cloth and then you have the folder Tokomotion and the Stylist Animals Volume 1 folder with all the characters that you purchased. Um, this Volume 1 has six uh, pr uh, characters here, six projects as well as six corresponding morph sliders uh, here, Actor, Body and Tokomotion and Stylist Animals Volume 1. And here you can see the sliders with the uh, icons for each character and you can apply these morphs to any um, yeah, any CC character you want. As you can see here, Rusty the Mouse, then a Sammy the Cat, Sparky and Teddy as well. Well, I would always recommend to start with the CC project because I included some custom textures as well as an a tail for each character except for Henry the Frog he hasn't uh, a tail so he, he just has a custom frog texture so well my uh, suggestion is always start with a CC project and then move on uh, you can of course yeah uh, start giving the character some some cloths here just let me give it uh, a pant, so maybe a short will work. Alright, just let me conform this a little bit more to the body shape using the close fitting feature here and the smooth feature. And then maybe we can also apply a shirt think the tank top will work quite good on Rudy. Alright, again conform. Okay. Seems to be an issue with the nipples here, so just let me increase the size a little bit to get rid of this. Yes, perfect. Alright, yeah, and um, that's our starting point. So let me just give you some more uh, hints and tips for uh, animating the ears and the tails. So just let's uh, move this character to eye clone now. Pressing this little icon here. Alright, and in Icon, just let me move a little bit closer here to Rudy. So in Icon, you just need to use the face puppet to move the ears. So just go to the animation tab here and open the face puppet. And you can, of course, apply any profile you find here in the puppet. So if you apply Christian, for example, then you can create any kind of facial animation for the character so but um, I also or I just uh, created some custom morphs for the ears in the 3dx custom uh, set here here and just click on it and the first two are have some morphs included but you need to deselect all the default settings here so just let's d deselect this one but you 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 just need to uh, leave one active because otherwise it's everything is turned off so leave this active and just um, set the value down to a value of one so that we have almost no movement for the eye blink and then if you press preview you will see how the ear ears will move so I did some base morphs here for every direction and I think I will also have an advanced tutorial where I will show you how you can create your own ear ears morphs uh, but yeah I will 
do this at a later point so just let me give Woody some animation here just for demonstration purposes just let me fix this uh, animation here with the with the sliders to make it a li little bit better looking uh, and let's record some seconds I think that's enough so just let me reduce the scene that's okay and now let's apply this ears movement so let me get a little bit closer and open the face puppet again and then just use this first um, stuff let's check again so I think this movement will work quite well so let's record this and then we'll see how how it will look let's play this and yeah I think it's it's quite nice so you have some kind of uh, ear movement that follows the one animation yeah quite nice maybe we can also give him some facial expressions as well Let's check yeah. Maybe this one will a little bit of exhausted here, so just let's record this quickly. All right, I think that's that's okay. Yeah, okay. All right, so here you can see really quick in the ear animation and looks looks much better with this secondary ear uh, uh, movement. So. Uh, brings the character to life yeah quite good nice and that's that's the way so this will work on with every character it's the same process with with, with 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 each character so feel free to test and yeah just let me show you how you can uh, animate the tails so this is with bones you just need to go to the animation uh, tab again and uh, open the edit animation layer and then you will see all the bones and just click on the bone you want to move and then with uh, control hold control on your keyboard and press uh, the last bone so this is the blue one is the one um, so you, you will move everything around this blue bone uh, um, in the end and yeah, maybe as you can see here, it's a little bit of a strange behavior of the of the tail, but this is really easy to fix. Just let me reset this, and you should always, if you want to animate the tails, always make sure that you detach uh, them first, because I need to attach them to the. Um, to the character so make them a part of the character so that I can uh, could transfer it to the character creator and then upload it uh, for for the release but uh, this is not the best solution for animating the details so first thing to do just detach the tail and then just link it to the character um, so as you can check it's really a prop it's linked to the character but it's not a part of the character anymore so and this is what we what we need so go back to the animation tab and then do the same click the bone that you want to move and uh, hold control and click the bone uh, the last bone and then as you can see now you have full control uh, over the tail and can move in every direction and yeah can now you can keyframe uh, it and and create some kind of animation just let me do this quickly here so move it down just forward here and move it up again and move it, so move it 
down and as you can see he uh, the tail moved a little bit I don't know why but um, if we check the uh, the tail you can see that we had have set some transform keys here but this is we we don't want these so just let's get rid of this so just delete delete this transform keys and the tail will be switched back to its original position and then um, you can have some kind of animation for the tail and it's it's really easy and um, yeah it's really up to you what you want to create with these bones but it it works and it's really easy to do yeah yeah I like this this ear movement here quite nice all right so I think that's it for for Rudy here just let me um load I think Sammy the cat yeah let's let's load Sammy because he has uh, his tail is a little bit longer and and here as you can see he has also a custom a texture with a little bit of a fur uh, stuff and he also have has whiskers and also Rusty the mouse has some whiskers that you also can animate if you want so just let let me um, um, bring let me send Sammy to iClone to show you this again here and as you can see uh, also the ears will move again with the face puppet stuff um, as well every profile will work here as well and you have the 3dx custom sets here and just deselect the default ones again and then preview and you will see that the ears will move as well so you move backward forward up down yeah so some base basic movements all right and the same for the tail so again with with bones first of all just detach it from the character again and just link it to the character again and then go to the animation tab here and just let me reduce the bone size a little bit uh, five perfect and then press the one the bone that you want to move and control uh, hold control and then uh, you have this blue one and you can move around this bone in any direction yeah really easy and really nice I think all right so uh, this is the same for the whiskers as well so they are also uh, set up with bones um and as you can see here they are also attached at the moment to the character so if you want to animate them please uh, detach them uh, first and just link them to the character's head and then you can do the same with the edit animation layer just let me reduce the bone size again and then click on the bone you want to move and hold control click and then you can move these whiskers as well and create some nice keyframe animation with it all right yeah I think that's it for the for the ears and tails and, and whiskers so maybe just let me real time smooth it so that it, it isn't that edgy anymore yeah so and the last uh, quick tip is as you can see he has some uh, custom texture some some fur texture but if you want to have him a little bit more fluffy you can also use it this placement map 
to give him more of a fluffy look so just go to the materials tab here and then search for the skin body and skin head and use the displacement uh, slot here just double click it and if you if you o open the uh, the bump folder from the uh, default uh, iClone um, materials so it's Reillusion template, iClone 6 template, iClone template and then the I think it's a textures folder yeah and there's a bump folder with uh, some bump maps and also noise maps and I usually work with the noise 005 and noise 006 uh, maps here so let's use this one it's a high map, it's a grayscale, that's okay and then let's apply this alright uh, it's not that we just need to adjust some settings here so scroll down to the tessellation level and increase it to 10 and I think also the multiplier can be increased a little bit and it's not perfect uh, so we just need to tile the map so go to the tiling here and there's a value of 20 and 20 will work quite well and you can see it's really has become a little bit more fluffy and yep. so you can do the same with the head now just select the head texture displacement load this noise map here okay then just use use a tiling use a tiling 20 by 20 white and increase the tessellation level and the multiplier yeah all right so this is really just a, a quick and dirty uh, use of the displacement map because um, all in all it looks quite good but if you have a closer look to some areas here um, uh, in the face so just let me move a little bit closer here so in the face you have some skin areas here in the nose and in the ears and you also have displacement effect uh, on these skin areas and this isn't perfect so but I uh, have a an, an tutorial on my youtube channel where I where I explain this a little bit more in detail uh, and you can check this tutorial out to yeah to get rid of this and make make a much better displacement effect but as a quick and dirty solution uh, you can just work with with this one and of course you can also cr uh, give the tail uh, displacement so it's the same process open the displacement the noise one as well here then just tile 20 by 20 right and increase the tessellation level and the multiplier and you have a really nice fluffy tail well of course you can also just work with with the displacement tail so just get rid let's get rid of the body displacement here and the head displacement so you just work with the default uh, texture of the of the of semi and have this fluffy tail it's really up to you what you want to achieve all right that's it for this quick introduction if you have any questions or feedback, um, I will provide a link to the Reallusions forum where I create a special thread for the stylized animals pack here. And you can go there and ask stuff and I will try to answer as soon as possible. Um, yeah, Feel free to like and subscribe and watch out for other tutorials and quick tips. 
and yeah of course have fun with the characters and enjoy and um, I'm really interested in your creations so feel free to share them and uh, send me a link or whatever and yeah so thanks for watching and have fun